our first budget January the clock is ticking the clock is ticking we've allocated sufficient resources within the scarcity of resource envelope but a good chunk is going to local government devolution we do not expect my passionate appeal, our women, as a village boy myself, my mother, walked long distances, long distances to collect water. There's no reason that should happen in another two years. Because the money is there to put the borehouse closer to our people, across the whole country. As an opposition person, I was watching how public resources were being managed. And I was determined that the day the people allow us to save them, we will tilt things around. We've just done that. First budget. In four years' time, there should be no reason at a school in Chelengu at a school in Chief Kambombo in Chama, at a clinic in Chikalawa. I know you may not know where Chikalawa is. There is no reason why the child should be going to a pit latrine to answer the call of nature. No. There must be a flush toilet there because we have supported those decisions with the resource envelope. Your commission will be superintending over that. At your age, man of your experience, you don't need to be praised by anybody. You just have to do what is right. If you were 25 year old, you say maybe I will offend a lady who needs to be my wife. You don't need to do that. If we have to offend people to deliver a flush toilet at every school in the next three, four years, we have to do that. That will be two of us willing to offend anybody. I've said to people, I'm not here seeking re-election in 2026. No. I'm here to save the people of Zambia I've said this to the Vice President. We save the people of Zambia, take difficult decisions now that will reconstruct this, this economy. People will decide on their own, 2026. But they will decide on the basis of issues including taking water closer to them. And we've made it possible. I guess I've said enough. Lastly, I take this opportunity, media, to remind the people of Zambia that we undertook to work towards bringing COVID under control. Otherwise, everything we are saying here, we are doing here, will become difficult, increasingly difficult. Coronavirus is everywhere. It's not, a, it's, it's not a, a, a news from a neighbor. The virus is right here in this state house, as we are talking now. It's right here. You don't see some of the state house stuff here. They are in isolation. The compound on that side are afflicted. Can we make sure that as media we assist the health ministry and authorities to send a message to our population, to protect our people, and to distinguish jokes from serious issues? Because we're using jokes now on social media to make claims that are wild about 
COVID. Let's assist ourselves, our children, our wives, protect those we love by sending the right messages so people can respect the five rules, golden rules of science. Vaccinations. I am proud to say that the pressure we put ourselves in under by relaunching the vaccinations, we now have phenomenal increase in the vaccinations. And the vaccines were not available within our difficult treasury and ingenuity. We have been able to bring more vaccines without having to spend taxpayers' money, which is not there anyway. It's been taken away. So the vaccines are there. I'm looking at you, the media. Let us work as a team to save lives. We don't have different agendas on this issue. I scan a lot of platforms. I do that as, as a hobby, so I can understand what people are saying, what, what issues are going on. That's my request to the media and to the nation. Let us take this thing serious. It's not for the Minister of Health to sing songs every morning. It's for us to internalize this issue in our homes. In our homes. We are having a lot of, um, what do you call it, Anton here? The COVID advisor is not here. We are having a lot of, uh, not sanitization in this place. Fumigation is going on. So we are in and out. And I was laughing yesterday, one person was saying, no, HH is about to die. These are not jokes. We are working in a manner that we reduce concentration of people in the corridors here, in the offices, so we can protect each other's lives. <laughs> and someone was playing a joke that HH is about to die. HH is being responsible to protect the lives of men. Everyone must be responsible. The separate jokes from serious issues. This is a serious pandemic. But I'm also saying we are not shutting down the economy. We just have to work on the five rules, work on vaccinations. It's been proven that a total shutdown does not solve this problem. Because our people live hand to mouth. But they must mask. Journalists, you must mask. If uh, you are popular people, if citizens see you mask, then they emulate you. Vice President, I think I've said enough for today. Once more, congratulations to the four gentlemen. The ladies who should have been here, I'm told, are not here for various family challenges. We'll have another session for them. But wish you well. I want to thank your families for allowing you to save. This, this, is a, this is a very important stage in the development of our country. Rebuilding the country is a little bit painful, but this team, I am confident, is better at this task than many out there. You know exactly where we want to take this country? We know where we found it deeper than we initially thought. The measures are meant, we are taking, are meant to find a lasting solution, not to appease. We want to thank the people of Zambia for allowing us to take some difficult decisions. But they will be very happy soon. That you are part of the team to make Zambians happy in the judiciary, in the police service, local government. God bless you. Thank you.